Hello beautiful Capricorns, how are you today? Welcome to the channel, my name is Donna. Welcome to Irish Donna Tarot and we are looking at the overall energy of your love reading. So let's pull these cards and see what we have. Owl Spirit, you are bringing a lot of wisdom in to your love life at this time. You are being shielded and protected. Spirit Guardian of the Summer Expansion. I don't know where, maybe you're on the other side of the earth, maybe you're in Australia where it's becoming spring and summer, but it doesn't matter because it is spiritual expansion. Manifesting dreams, Capricorn, what are you up to? I don't know, but I love the Capricorn. All right, so let's see what we have here. We're going to take a look at your, this is a two-part reading. So the first part is the basic love reading, and then the second part is your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions, and it may or may not resonate with the first part. Okay, so here we go. Look at the energy here. A new beginning in love for you, Aquarius energy. Knight of Cups, somebody coming in and making a beautiful romantic offer coming towards you. Could be a Pisces, could be an Aquarius. The Ten of Wands says that you have given up the burdens, you have tossed the towel in on a relationship or a situationship that did not work for you. You have this beautiful energy of the Ten of Cups. You are manifesting a deep relationship which is all about happiness and joy and love and being connected to somebody at a soul, a spiritual, an emotional and physical level. This is happily ever after. It is a marriage energy one of long-term commitment for the sole sake of being happy. So we have the Tower card. There is a big surprise, a big epiphany coming your way. This Tower card is my favorite Tower card. It is so beautiful. The animals are looking. The lightning strike is at Bolt. Oftentimes when you first meet somebody, that chemistry, it can be meeting somebody out of the blue that you didn't expect to meet. It could be you're taken off your beaten path and you meet somebody. It also speaks to the fact that you want to build a very powerful and strong foundation, unlike some of the other relationships that you've had because you've given up on something that clearly didn't have that. So when we look at the energy of you moving forward, you are definitely looking and seeking exactly what you want, your happiness. You're not going to settle for less. Libra energy, you want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in love. <clears throat> The hidden energy is that you are looking at things from a different perspective. You're really taking time for yourself. You're, you're really metaphysically and emotionally connecting with your spirit guides down here in the water. We can see the signs and the signals. Spirit is saying, go light right now. Don't take anything too seriously. Be uh, very much playful. Be in a playful energy for yourself. You know, be innocent, be naive, trust in love. And the Nine of Wands, you have fire in your belly for love. So we're going to look and see. You know, we have, we have this energy of Sagittarius. We also have Cancerian energy and Pisces energy a couple of times here. You have Pisces three times. The Tower card is Aries energy. And the Ten of Wands is Sagittarius energy. Libra, Aquarius, a lot of air and a lot of Pisces. Beautiful. Okay, so who's coming towards you? Somebody that you work with may present or make an offer to you. It looks as though you may have turned down this person in the past because we get this feeling that they, they're afraid to come towards you. Your person looks like, well, if I go talk to Capricorn, and this is Capricorn energy, Capricorn's going to say no to me. So, <laughs> so I don't know who your person is, but look at that. They come in with a very large and in charge, let's go do X, Y, or Z, let's go have fun, make a little love, go away for the weekend. You are going to actually fall in love with this person. The Two of Cups energy, it really speaks to the fact that though you underestimated the connection, 
that you're going to find yourself being very happy here. You're going to want to nurture this connection. Capricorn, there you are in your reading. So you know quality when you see it. It is the hallmark of your rulership of Saturn. You know what can go the distance, Capricorn, and you feel as of this person, and you can definitely go the distance. We have not only the Knight of Cups coming in with a romantic, Lance romance has appeared on the scene, but we see this incredible energy of the King of Wands, Leo energy. Somebody who is very good looking, somebody who's dashing in their presentation, somebody who can be very flirty, very attractive, somebody who has a lot of pride, a lot of dignity, but someone who knows how to live large, my friends. Somebody who really, and here we go, the Ace of Cups, new love. And here you are, you know, we're looking at this person coming in with a lot of fiery energy. Uh, somebody who's very successful in business, somebody who's a good manager, somebody who has healed from an old relationship. They too are in this Libra Queen energy. They too are looking for the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Your person has been alone for a while. <clears throat> We see the five of coins. They feel as though they were bounced on their head by somebody that they didn't know very well. And we see them in this energy of trying to make up their mind about how to approach you. How do I approach the Capricorn? How do I get Capricorn to really accept my advances? So why do we have the Ten of Wands? The Ten of Wands is you giving up the burdens of the past, packing it in, letting go of something that was never yours to begin with. There you go, Libra energy. You're going to stay balanced. You want to be treated fairly. You want the truth again, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. It really speaks to the fact that you are looking for someone with whom you can really make a long-term relationship. Judgment card is when we let go. It looks as though for many of you, your person Capricorn probably is divorced. The reason I say that is that they've left something burdensome behind. They've physically moved. The Libra card is usually the filing of divorce papers, and the Judgment card is usually the finally, final dissolution of marriage. So your person is really ready for a relationship. They've done the work. They've let go. They have a tidy house, so to speak, and they are willing to tell you the truth and the whole truth. So the Temperance card reverse says that you are not taking somebody back from the past, that you are more focused on what's new, what's good. Again, the second part of the reading may reflect that person, their thoughts, feelings, and intentions, but you can take it as it resonates. Look at this. You have fire in your belly for this beautiful relationship in which you can really be yourself. You can love very deeply. Leo energy, very strong. Again, that King of Wands energy with the strength card. You have the courage, the strength to go forward and move into a lifelong love. Remember, the number eight is the infinity symbol. So it really speaks to the fact that you have fire in your belly. Your person has fire in their belly. I don't think you know each other very well. And your person is coming in very quickly. They want to swoop you up before you are, and before they find themselves competing with other people. They don't want you to juggle. Your person that is coming in is definitely not going to be in a third party situation. They are holding on to see if you recognize the love and the quality of love that they are holding aside. They're not going to try to convince you in any way. Your person's going to present themselves and you know if you find them attractive if you invest you invest and if not they will go on their way we have as an epiphany it looks as though you may have known this person in childhood somebody may be resurfacing but not somebody you had an intimate relationship with so we do see mercury retrograde bringing back somebody familiar but we also see somebody who has, uh, I feel again, has had some sort of turn, you know, some sort of difficulty in love. I feel very much that they don't feel victorious at this time. Uh, they are, do appear to be out of a marriage. So what else do we have for this person? Look at that, two of wands. They want you to make a decision about them. They want you to choose them. We get the Page of Wands. They throw caution to the winds. Your person is going to be very sweet, fun, funny, 
very kind somebody with a quick wit the two of swords you know they're they are afraid that you're going to ignore them they very much feel this feeling and they are going to do everything they can to be front and center with you without being rude but this person has something to tell you they have the knight of swords energy is all about rushing in and talking to you about something that they want. Nine of Cups, they want to have fun with you. The Nine of Cups goes to the Ten of Cups, right? Okay, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. So this person sees you as their happy place. They want to manifest you in this relationship. Pisces energy again. Why do we have the Queen of Swords energy here? Let's see. We have the Ace of Wands. Your person has fire in their belly. They definitely want to have a passionate beginning with you. They will, oh, look at that. You are dealing with a very powerful being here. The Aries energy, the Aries emperor, is somebody who's very strategic. This person knows how to approach you in a way that's very strategic to win your heart. They are not messing around here. They, this is not a game to them. They are so serious about this. So the hanged man says that both of you are trying to look at things from a different perspective and all of a sudden you manifest love. The emperor, the emperor and the empress. So you are divine partners. So for those of you in a twin flame relationship, this could be representative of that. Tell us more about the divine partnership. Eight of coins. Spirit has brought you together to work on a relationship with somebody that spirit has chosen for you. All right. Oh, beautiful energy. It really speaks to manifesting your dreams, you know, to really, um, with this energy of wisdom. You're both wiser. You're both clearer. And when we look at the expansion, you are expanding in love, even though you don't see it coming. All right. So the Page of Cups is about innocent, sweet love, being open to it, you know, being willing to take that chance on love. And we have, there we go, Virgo energy coming towards you in a very stable, steady fashion. These flipped over, I'm not going to take them, but look at all this good energy. Your person will defend the relationship. They're making the romantic gesture. They did walk away from something in the past. They're invested in you. And Six of Cups energy, they certainly are in it to win it with you. So that is powerful energy. Why is a Knight of Pentacles here? They're taking this slowly but steadily. They want the relationship to be good. In the past, they were always worried, but your person is coming out of their head and just putting one foot in front of the other because they really want this relationship with you. So let's see why we have the Nine of Wands, which is fire in your belly. Both of you have fire in your belly. Seven of Wands. Well, when you first meet each other, you're going to tread very carefully. The Seven of Wands means that you'll both be a little bit, you know, protecting your heart. But the Six of Swords says very rapidly the two of you move forward. You know, both of you have come out of relationships in which you wondered where the love is. But look at that, King of Swords. You both have overcome your fears. Both of you are moving strategically into the future with each other. The Page of Cups repeats itself, so you have a definite crush here. And the Magician card, look at this, Virgo and Gemini energy, manifesting a beautiful love relationship. That's also a card of great chemistry, the magic, the magician, the magic between two people. So it really speaks to the fact that both of you are very bright, you're very intellectual, and there we have it, the Sun card. The Sun card is the happiest card in the deck. It's living in the moment, but you and your person are pursuing a committed relationship that's all about eat, you know, loving very dearly. A happily ever after with the with the sun card so it may be a situation too in which you're talking about having children the children and babies are represented by the empress and the sun card she fertilizes a seed but you have a divine partnership here look at that so that is what I have for your basic love reading we're gonna hop over very quickly here I'm going to clean up the cards and we're going to do thoughts, feelings, and intentions with whomever it is that you'd like to ask about. So it can be an extension of this reading or it doesn't have to be. It can be totally the energy of someone new if that's what you prefer. Okay, so let's see what we have here. We have, okay. 
So tell me, everyone, where you're from in the comments below. I'm broadcasting from Chicago, but I've traveled the world with my job with an airline, and I am here today having fun with you. I have been a psychic and tarot reader for all my airline friends as well as career-wise. So let's see what we have in terms of what's going on. Thoughts, feelings, and intentions. Okay. Whoops. This is messy. <laughs> I wish my editor were working. I had a full meltdown of equipment and so forth with uh, Mercury Retrograde. We're still working on getting it back up and running. All right, so thoughts, feelings, and intentions. Thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions of a person of interest for our beautiful Capricorn friends. All right, so let's see what we have here. Capricorn, Capricorn. Let's see what we have. Okay, so we have your person's thoughts are they, they fantasize about you. They feel brokenhearted. It looks like you might have been in a third party situation or at least a situation in which you're really missing somebody or your person is missing you. This is their thoughts about you. They miss you. They want a reunion with you. They want to see you again. They fantasize about you in their feelings. They feel very much, they have great clarity that they are feeling a lot of pain, a lot of remorse. They feel a lot of regret for something that they did in the relationship. The four of pentacles, they are holding on to you in their heart space. They're very much up in their head. They may not have been honest about something or maybe they just failed to tell you that they love you. But the Four of Pentacles, they're holding on tightly to everything that they remember, everything that they wanted. Capricorn, that is your energy. So when we look at their intention, they find you absolutely riveting. Your person feels as though you wouldn't really accept them. Interesting. So they see you as highly desirable, sought after by many. Their intention is to seek you out. But we see here the Four of Cups, they feel as though you're not going to accept them back because of something they did in the relationship. You know, it looks as though they might have kept their options open. They might not have told you that they were talking to other people. And they feel as though you're not having it. They really do. Um, you know, certainly if this is an extension of the earlier, the reading we just did, you know, we're seeing that you're, you're unwilling to take someone back. Your person feels as though they have no choice but to move on. So their intention is to try to heal, to try to come back and approach you again. And their actions are to make an offer. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, King of Wands. We saw the King of Wands in the basic reading, too. So for some of you, this is the readings are not necessarily connected. Take it as it resonates. Your person wants you to... Oh, your person wants you to walk away from a King of Wands. Well, you're not going to. You, you're getting what you want from the King of Wands. So this person's actions are to be to try to approach you, make an offer, offer enough so that you walk away from the King of Wands. So very interesting energy. So let's go ahead and clarify a little bit. We won't clarify much, but it's always fun to get a few of the energies out more. So why is the Seven of Cups here for you? Why was this person all up in their head? Ah, uh, they're trying to manifest you back. Well, that works if they weren't dishonest, but I feel as though they were dishonest with you based on their own feelings. Their love for you will not die off, my friends. We get that strength card yet again. Your person has fire in their belly. They're not, they can't walk away. They just can't do it. Nine of swords, ten of swords. They feel as though they stabbed you in the back. They have remorse and regret. You know, they're still holding on to their hopes, but let's see what that's going to be. Six of coins that you would give them another chance. Will you give them another chance? No, I don't think so, because the Hierophant says that unless you're really willing to marry, some of you would give them another chance. But for many of you, that you will not give them another chance because you're in a relationship with this person. This King of Wands energy. So here we go. They can't let go of the burden. They are going to continue to carry that burden. Okay, so why do we have this person so up in their head? Yeah, Four of Cups is clarifying the Four of Cups. Like, yeah, Capricorn's not interested in me. 
you know, why would Capricorn be interested in me? I'm a mere child. I'm not very mature is what your person says to me in the cards. They want a new beginning, though. They really do. So we see this person. That's her intention, but they don't think you're going to say yes, and I don't think... For most of you, you will not say yes. You know, take it as it resonates. The, the Libra energy of the Justice card means that they will try to move on. They're going to try to get closure with you. So their intention is to come back, make an offer, tell you how much they think of you. Um, but the part, they want, they'll try to lure you away from someone else. But what we see here in their intentions is they're going to try to heal, give closure, and find balance and see if they even have a chance with you. But again, they're very skeptical. So that's what I have for you, Capricorn. It's been wonderful. Please like, subscribe, share, comment. Tell me where you're from. Leave a comment and tell me where you're uh, watching the video from. Okay, take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.